guys, Jessica here from Lobby Sweet Shop. Today I'm making another soap, and this soap is a completely different recipe that I generated by myself. Um, it has three butters. It has cocoa butter, shea butter, cocum butter, uh, sweet, almond, sweet almond oil, rice barn oil, and coconut oil. And I put a little bit of castor oil also. So it's a, I'm going to give it a try, see how it, um, how it is for the skin. Um, I forgot a spoon. So I got my spoon and I'm adding a little bit of kaolin clay. Where's my cow? Right uh, the fragrance is also new and it says it accelerates a little bit so let's hope we don't have a problem with that. Although I did do a um, water discount, a 50% water discount. 15, not 50. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm adding in my cream with coconut milk and sodium lactate. I think I'm going to start skipping this process because it's like basically the same. Alright. Oh, let me tell you about the fragrance. The fragrance is a citrusy, fruity freshness. That's what it says. Um, a top notes of pink grapefruit, goji berry, lemon, middle notes of apple and pear blossom, uh, spring daisies, and meadow lily. And base notes of uh, musky and blonde wood. So it smells really good. I feel like every new fragrance. Whoops! Give me one second. Okay, that was my son. He's playing in his room and he dropped um, a box of toys. I thought he fell. So he's fine. Okay. So I feel like every new fragrance that I soap with becomes my favorite. So this is my new favorite. I'm going to be using my Tone Skinny Mold. because I'm doing pastel colors for this soap. And I'm gonna color it before I add my fragrance because I don't wanna, um, I don't want no new surprises. Turquoise, which is the peacock from Mad Oils. I'm using Tangerine Dream from Mad Oils. I'm using a little bit of the red mica, really red mica from Nurture Soap, with a little bit of To Be Pink from the Workshop Heritage from Metsy. I don't know if you can see that, the light is very bright. And I'm using a lavender which I think is an oxide. I bought it off a Etsy group, I mean, a Facebook group, a co-op group, and it's this pretty, pretty purple. I don't know if the camera picks it up, because I really can't see what I'm filming. I just hope everything is on focus. Anyways, I'm keeping some for my frosting, which is gonna be plain white. It doesn't have fragrance, so 
have to remember to put it in there. And I'm going to add in some embeds, which are these little tiny balls um, made of melt and pour, goat's milk melt and pour. And that's very, very bright. So let's see if I can... Anyways, you'll see it in the picture that I always post in the end. Alright, so I'm going to color it first, and we'll start with the orangey. We'll start off with a little bit like that. a lot better. Put this aside. Okay, so the fragrance is next. To add some type of frosting. Oh, and it's just, yeah, it's rising on me. Maybe if we can stick blend it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're like fishing, you know what I mean? Oh, it's fighting with me. It's <laughs> rising. <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's well, like, I like to make this video. Fun. Yeah. I do want to get a, um, what is it called, a swirl with a, with a, oh my goodness, I can't say it, um, a hanger swirl, there you go, and it's very, it did rice on me, and I managed to get it back to a kind of fluid, um, but still it's, it's getting thick which was expected. So I'm going to go ahead with my orange and I'm just going to do a drop in swirl and then I'll just swirl it with with a finger.
this section is done, we'll come back when the frosting is ready to pipe. So my piping is ready and I gotta finish this now because it's dinner time and I have to clean up and then cook. So I'm gonna get it into my piping bag. And it did set up fast. And it's not all the way to how I want it, but I just can't wait any longer. alcohol and I wish I could show you let me see if I can pull the camera out of here okay so this is what it looks like after the mica drizzle I should have waited to add in my uh, well to spray in the alcohol because now it looks like a big mess that's all right and it's kind of tall all right, we'll come back tomorrow for the cutting. Hi everyone, so we're back to cut Summer Paradise. That's what I decided to name it. And it was still too soft to remove it from the mold, but I did it anyways and I broke a little bit of the bottom off. Okay. It looks nice. I like the swirl. Very pretty, but you see what I mean? I broke a little bit off. So I might have those um, for samples.
Okay, so these will be ready around the end of July. I believe July 26th they will be ready in my Etsy shop. But in the meantime, take a look what we have available now. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.